my god, you know. All right, you guys, so it is finally warm outside, so I took the opportunity to wear a spring outfit. This top is from Princess Polly. Um, I love the color. I love a good sage green. It's like my favorite color, um, and I feel like it goes really well with like all the gold jewelry that I typically wear. It's just really dainty and springy. Um, I'm wearing these white linen pants, which I actually thrifted, and then my comfy ufos. So yeah. Um, it's definitely still cold outside. I feel like when spring actually comes, this outfit would be so cute with a little hat like this. I actually found this one at like a home goods store. It was like such a find. I love it. Can you tell that I'm ready for spring? Welcome back guys, and if you're new here, thanks for joining us. And by us, I mean me and Cosmo here, alright? We got a great video for you today with some goodies. I'm gonna put in a second one. I put in a second one, but I think that that's really cute. I've got quite a lot of stuff here planned out to share. Um, I think I'm gonna start off with the thing I'm most excited for, which is the tea, because I finally got my order from the tea spot. They are like a really cool tea company and they have um, really good quality tea and a lot of different options. And I am very excited to try it out because their flavors are like blue jasmine green tea and like things like that and I just love herbal tea. So I'm gonna quickly mention what I ordered. Um, and I'm also really excited because they sent me some free samples and they look really good. It, it took a while for them to get this here just because there was some sort of mix up with the mail. Um, but they finally got here so I'm really excited. I've been out of tea for a minute. The first flavor that I got is called Boulder Blues. And look how cute this packaging is. Like, and this is loose leaf tea so you definitely need tea balls. Um, I recommend the ones that have the little clasps that you can open and close. <laughs> smell good? Smell good, guys, smell. I'm really curious, I've been waiting. I've been saving these for an extra two days to make this video. Wow, what do you think, Cosmo? It's Cosmo approved. That is a lot of tea! This is four ounces, and I ordered this thinking it would be like a moderate amount, but it is gonna take me a long time to go through this bag and the other one I ordered, oh my gosh. Next up, I got Blood orange smoothie. Mmm, love my orange uh, essential oil. Mmm, smells so good. Whoa, this is just so much tea. Oh my gosh, you really get a good bang for your buck. I ordered both of these and I think I spent, oh, that's cute. Steep Pray Love. I love a good tea. Oh, it talks about, it talks about like tea ceremonies being like really spiritual and good throughout history. This is cool. Together with caffeine, as it occurs naturally in tea, it can provide stress relief and improve your mood, producing a calm yet focused state of mind. When you're looking to unwind and start your evening with your sweetheart, a romantic tea break is a great way to get you both feeling your best. Aww. One thing that's really cool about this company that I wanted to mention is that they are 10% for wellness and they're a B certified corporation. So this is definitely the kind of company that I like to support. The samples they sent me, the first one is hibiscus cucumber. This one is rise and chai. Mm, that's cute. It looks like they hired an artist to design their packaging because how adorable is that? Now for the good stuff some products from my goodie basket here. As some of you may know, Earth Fair closed down, um, which is kind of sad because I did like a couple of things from there and they had this really good chocolate cake. I actually bought a whole one because I knew it was gonna be the last chance that I would ever get to have it and I kept half of it in my freezer so that I could keep it for as long as possible. So I decided to take advantage of some of the sales that were going on and to see um, how I like some products that I normally don't buy because they're expensive and give them a go. So, I did grab a few essentials as well, and I'll mention those first. So, uh, I got some soap. Um, you can never have too much soap. This one is called Pacha Soap, and I'm pretty sure you can get this at Whole Foods as well. And then Zumbar, this is goat's uh, milk soap. So, this one's not vegan, but this one I'm pretty sure is. And they smell so good, and 
then I like the colors of them too. Like they're cute. Like this is like a cool swirly one. And then this is like a pretty sea foam green. Um, so I was running out of toothpaste and I'm like about done with my tube. So I decided to buy some more. Um, I sort of switched back and forth between brands like Tom's and then like typical drugstore brand. Might as well get my toothpaste while I'm there, right? So I did also get some probiotics. Um, usually I get the Now brand probiotics because their ingredients are actually good. So normally they're like $50 a bottle, which is a bit steep, but I really like taking probiotics because it really helps my skin. I got two bottles of that because they were half off. So I got two for the price that I normally pay for one. I've still got some breakouts here and I've done my best to cover them, but it's all kind of down here right now, which makes me think it's hormonal, but I'm still on my probiotic game and they're in my fridge right now. So I'll insert a clip here. I also got some castor oil, um, which I've been using as like a brow mask at night. I just have like one of those little spoolies from Ulta or Sephora and I use that to put it on my eyebrows. I don't know that it's made my eyebrows grow and I've always had like decently bushy eyebrows but I do kind of like putting this on. It does feel nice. You don't really need a giant bottle because this lasts a long time already. It's very thick and goopy but I like that. Okay so the thing that I was most excited for that was on sale that I have never bought because it's so expensive is the Dr. Hauschka Translucent Bronzing Tint. So years ago, Lisa Eldridge had this in one of her videos and I've been wanting to try it ever since because I am very pale and I just needed to know like what this would be like and I have not tried it yet because I'm gonna make a video but um, I'm super stoked. It was on sale so it was a little cheaper and so I just went ahead and splurged a little. With spring coming up and with me being super over winter, I was like, I need this. And I think for the first time, you guys, for the first time, I might try fake tanning and I'll use this on my face. This is like a very natural brand, but it's like luxury kinda. This is what it looks like. Oh wait, <laughs> I showed you guys the Spanish side. This is the English side. <laughs> I also really quickly wanna mention, I got this essential oil relaxation kit. Um, I love them. I smell them all already. There are four different scents, not flavors, scents. Oh, chill pill is like really weird when you smell it, um, but when you actually diffuse it, it smells really nice. Sweet orange is amazing. It actually smells a lot like that tea. Then, of course, lavender. I use this mainly at night. Lastly, the patchouli. I actually really like this one. Sometimes it smells like wood, like really fresh, crisp pine wood, but also it kind of smells like a really, really strong margarita. <laughs> if you have the opportunity to smell this, leave a comment below and tell me if you think it smells like a strong margarita. Okay, um, the last two miscellaneous products are hair products. So I wanted to mention this because I've been using it for a while. It's a dry shampoo. Um, I don't really use dry shampoo that much because I really don't like having product in my hair and especially not like powder or like sticky stuff, hairspray, things like this is not something I go for. And I wash my hair like every three days or so. Um, I just wanted to mention this one because it's not terribly powdery and I do feel like it works for emergency times where I have needed this. This one has lasted me for a year and I still have, I would say, 60% of it. It is aerosol, unfortunately, which is kind of annoying, and so is this one that I'm gonna mention. But because I use this stuff so infrequently, like, it's gonna take me literal years to get through these. Um, I don't feel super terrible about it. I do wish that there was another way to get that awesome spray without it being aerosol. It's just the other kinds are just too wet, you know? Which brings me to this Paul Mitchell heat protectant. I feel like it actually works. I really hate it when heat protectants are not aerosol because it just makes my hair wet and damp again and then it kind of sizzles. Those are just two products that I really like. Maybe someday someone will invent or engineer a spritzer that will have the same effect without it being aerosol. If you're an engineer, be working on that. Okay, now it's time for masks. What you came here for? As some of you who've seen my videos know, and if you're new here, welcome. Um, I have acne prone skin and I have very sensitive skin. I have to use very natural products. Um, it can get irritated and red pretty easily. I burn pretty easily. I just have to be careful with what I put on my skin. That being said, my skin is able to handle retinols and 
um, acids and things like that so it's not like terribly sensitive um, but it is like on the sensitive side for sure these masks that I'm gonna mention I'm really excited to share because I know that a lot of you are out there struggling with me and your face is on fire when you put a mask on and that's just not what should happen you should not have a burning face when you're trying to do skincare so first up, the most soothing um, mask, I have the Andalou Naturals Rose Water Mask. This is so soothing. It just kind of feels like lotion, but it smells like roses. It's amazing. It's got this gorgeous texture. I think it was like $11. You can get so many masks out of this. It's very cool, but it's not like a minty cool where it burns. It's just like a cool, refreshing, Feel. So if your skin's really irritated, this is definitely a good one. This has never, not one time, made my skin feel like it was on fire. Next is another Andalou Naturals one. This is the Fruit Enzyme Mask. This one has never made my skin burn either. It's really good for like brightening and like helping your skin like get a little more life. And I feel like this one is amazing in particular because if I use this straight up, you guys, the next morning with a good night's rest and a full glass of water before bed, I feel like my skin looks really good. Don't. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Another natural one that's a little more luxury and a little more on the pricey side is this Caudalie one. Um, it is 1% for the Planet brand. They don't have parabens or phthalates or sulfates, things like that. So this is a really good one. Sometimes, sometimes this one burns, sometimes it does not. If you're not willing to risk it, I wouldn't recommend this, but if your skin's kind of in between, like decently sensitive but not terrible or not sensitive at all, this is a really great one for clearing and cleaning. And because it is a glycolic peel, I'm okay with it burning a little bit when it does because it's a chemical exfoliant. That sort of gets this one off the hook and it is pretty natural. That's why I keep this one because it is sort of meant to burn just a little bit. I feel like it helps my skin whenever I have a breakout. Sometimes I'll just put it down here and I feel like that works really well. <laughs> so another mask that I've been trying recently is the Florence by Mills one. I kept it in its packaging just because I wanted to show you guys how cute it is and it has this spread love because it's good for our hearts. It's pretty affordable of a brand too, and it's it's just got this cute purple packaging. It says that they keep it clean, they don't test on animals, it's vegan and cruelty-free, dermatologist tested for all skin types. This kind of burns. It is a peel-off mask, and to be honest, you guys, I've never been crazy about peel-off masks. Um, I just feel like peel-off masks are a little gimmicky and don't really do much, but it is kind of fun to do them every now and then. And I'm not crazy about it, but it is kind of fun. Sometimes I will just use this on my nose because it doesn't, my nose is like the least sensitive area. Like I can do anything there and I never break out there for some reason. So sometimes I'll just do it there for like blackheads and things like that. Yeah, so it's all right. If you're not sensitive, it's a pretty fun mask to do. Ow. Really sticks to my beard. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh, it's like getting a new face. Yay. So for clearing masks for like cleanliness or breakouts, things like that, that are, um, super clean and natural and do not burn at all, I would recommend the like clay masks. Um, so this is the Now brand that I mentioned for my probiotics that I really like, this is a great brand. And then this one is called Molivera Organics and I got it on Amazon, I'm pretty sure, like years ago. I mix these two together because bentonite clay is very gloopy and it's kind of hard to spread uh, basically, I will I'll mix them together in here and then I'll pour a little bit of water and mix it with my finger and then just start to like paint it on. You really gotta work it in because the bentonite can be really hard to spread, but if you kind of stay in one area, it like will. But like if you don't, it will just like be clumpy like that. You gotta like massage. And you can't use metal and you can't use a, a metal spoon with bentonite. Um, it specifically says that on 
the directions, you cannot use metal with bentonite. It will absorb some of those metals and it's super weird. I actually saw it happen in my sink um, on the little drain thing. It's not like damaging or anything, but it is kind of weird. Um, so just don't use metal with these, um, mainly the bentonite though. The reason I mix them is because the consistency of this one sort of helps this one be less gloopy. They actually work. They are actually clearing. When I wash them off, my face, like any redness that I had is gone. It is crazy. And I attribute that to the Moroccan clay powder because I've used this one by itself sometimes and it straight up removes redness from my skin. It's so impressive, you guys. Super natural, no harsh ingredients whatsoever. You wanna make it on your own. Definitely recommend both of these. This one you can actually use in the bath as well to help like detox. Detoxing is kind of gimmicky to me as well. However, it does absorb things. That's like what it's known for. So I think this could be um, legit. Pretty inexpensive and affordable as well and they last forever as you can see. Okay guys, so a couple of tips about the clay mask. Um, anyone who's done a mud mask knows that they are very hard to get off, so if you're in a rush, do not do this mask. Um, second, it can and will clog your drain, and because it's hard to get off, I recommend using a paper towel or a cloth to remove it. Um, basically, you just want to re-wet your face and then gently massage it off. It's kind of a process, but I feel like it's worth it. Whoa. It's kind of an exfoliative process too, which is nice. It's very cleansing, exfoliative, it's it's great. Um, that being said, if you have a lot of like painful breakouts, I don't recommend it because of how hard it is to get off. So I'm planning on using this as like a travel mask kit. So I'm gonna keep those powders in here when I go to Europe this summer, like a little travel size. Sometimes I'll do an oil mask to remove makeup and massage my face and I'll use this vitamin E oil by Jason. This is also a really good organic brand. This smells so good. It feels amazing. Um, another skin treatment that I wanted to mention that I do like and use whenever I am about to be in my pre-menstrual cycle. I feel like I need to specify this really quick. People sort of have begun using PMS synonymously with their period, and it's not the same thing. Like, it's pre-menstrual. I break out and have my worst, like, emotions and, like, stress and acne before my period starts. So I, and I know that it's gonna happen every time. So I use these Tula um, Dual Phase Skin Reviving Treatment Pads. Basically, they have salicylic acid in them, and there's, like, an exfoliator side and, like, the treatment side, and it comes with six. I actually really like these. I find that they work. I like this brand. So if you have breakouts like clockwork and you can sort of preemptively strike, I definitely recommend using something like this. So lastly, I wanna mention a product that is a little interesting, a little weird, and kinda works, kinda doesn't. So I bought these at Ulta. They're the Truly CBD Breakout Treatment Stickers. So I got really excited about these because I've been wanting to try CBD for treating my acne for a while, but it's very expensive and I don't know if it's actually gonna work. So I've sort of been teetering. But when I saw these, I was like, oh, that's a great opportunity. I'm gonna try it out. And it says that there's five milligrams of CBD per patch. So I thought it would be really great for inflamed ones. So like if I have like that one, for example, I would put one of the stickers on one like that and I went to sleep and I did feel like they worked. Um, like 50%, like they weren't gone the next morning and I almost wonder if maybe a higher dosage wouldn't do that. It says on the directions that they work better with breakouts that are very uh, like full of like liquid and, and white blood cells and things like that, like pus if you will. Um, and I don't really have breakouts like that. Like mine are usually just red bumps. They don't really get like, they don't really pop. So I don't really know that I'm the best candidate to try these. If you've tried these on a different kind of breakout and they work, definitely leave a comment or DM me on Instagram because I would love to know. As far as these go, I would say I'd give them like a seven out of 10 because they did kind of work and it was kind of fun and an interesting idea but like didn't totally kill it for me. Kind of a weird product that I just wanted to mention. Mmm, yes. Guys, the best face mask that you can ever have is puppy kisses. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know if you have any other video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Um, I've got some cool things planned coming up. Right here I have a bunch of clothes for my haul video for spring vacation ideas. So be excited for that. I'm pretty excited for it. Oh, you got the eye goops. Let me get it. I just wanted to show you guys the bottom half of that set that I was wearing. This green top came with these cute green shorts. It's a little cold for me to be wearing shorts right now, but I still just wanted to show you guys. It would probably look cuter. Yes, I'm changing clothes right now. If I had a tan, so you could wear it loose like this. I feel like I'd probably wear mine tucked in. I love you guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.